are back, bitch. I was no. the fuck out that cup. Let me first start off by saying I am so deeply, deeply fucking sorry to everybody. I was, I literally came in. Actually, I really should blame y'all. I was like, y'all didn't want to let me know that I missed the after, after class episode. In my defense, it was the I, I wasn't even in LA. In my defense, yeah, you wouldn't here. be able to make it anyway. <laughs> I was here, Jazz. Why didn't you remind me, bitch? Because I. Come on, I'm day pass off, holiday. You. Right. Come on, day off. <laughs> holiday pay. <laughs> Overtime, my sick hours. Fuck. I felt not sick hours. I use them sick I'm hours. I'm clocking in okay. my sick my holiday time. Okay. <laughs> I really thought that. No, I, I thought actually you were just thought that you were just chilling. Like I really thought you were like, oh, it's Thanksgiving week. So yeah. and little. thankfully it made sense because yeah, I was so caught up with Thanksgiving business and what we were doing, and right. I went to like different families' house Thanksgiving. Like it was just crazy. And then like I just found I just it just popped in like I think it it was Friday and I'm like I do something every single Friday and that's upload the our video class, yeah right. the after class episode and bitch you were like I, I don't have so nothing to upload I have nothing to <laughs> upload meanwhile see, we was like and that's why I think we need to get on and it's hard because of all of our schedules but like filming multiple episodes I mean that's you don't need to hear that but just know that <laughs> Not that's a business where meeting our right head now. is at <laughs> Um, but nah, I like recording an episode every week because it just gives me yeah, something to cool. do. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. How y'all been? I'm sorry. Sis, how I was your trip? Good. Um, Thank trip, goodness. It was only two days. It was I'm like, like right. you can't. I just said you're not allowed to go anywhere I posted. Else. I posted <laughs> the picture of in the airplane and she responded. And she was like, no. And I was like, bitch, I'll be back in 48 hours. She was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, enjoy. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh. So how was it? Where'd y'all go? Again? It was cool. We j- I just went to the Bay. Oh, yeah, the Bay. Yeah, uh, that's, where, that's where Nicole's family is from. And so don't you she, just love it? She le- yeah, I love the Bay. It was it was so pretty. She left earlier than me, and then I like went for like literally two days and came back, and mm-hmm. she just got back. But it was cool. It was a nice little... That wasn't your first time meeting the family, no. right? Mm-mm. Okay, good. Yeah, no. But mm-hmm. it, was a, it was my first time being there for Thanksgiving, though. Right. Yeah, I usually go home for Thanksgiving. Damn, you missed all that soul food. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. What made you want to go over I there? Know. So, <laughs> so, no. Nicole, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she said I'm at Barbara no, Ann's house. Right. For real. I'm for, maybe for Christmas. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> Nicole, I fucking love you, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you I decided to go to Bay. No, for but it's like usually, usually I don't. But the only reason I did this year is because we had just gotten back from North Carolina because we went, we went for true. for Halloween a month. Yeah, for a month. So I was like, well, I can't go for Thanksgiving. I'm literally about to go home for Christmas. So it's like. It's too much back and forth to the East Coast. I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just go, to, go to her house for Thanksgiving, and then I always go home for Christmas because Christmas is huge with my family. Like that's where I see everybody. So I'd rather, I'd rather be there for Christmas than for Thanksgiving. Right. But the food, yes. They didn't have no know. soul food, huh? No soul food. You know Dang. that's. A, I was just so what did you it was eat? good. Yeah, what did you mean, eat? Just normal Thanksgiving food, like. Normal, I don't know, normal Thanksgiving food, but just it without, that without soul. like the greens, and yeah, the, you know, like it. But people, I don't even, I don't even know that people, I don't even know that people really eat greens over here because everybody that I talk to, they're just kind of like, Y'all don't eat Ew. greens, you eat greens, mm-hmm. period. Yeah, but she didn't have them though, <gasps> right? Actually, did I? No, I, my bad, I did have them, I did visit my black side, yeah, right, my bad, right? They, mm, yeah, my, my Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving back home is the one, but. But you know it was cute. It was really cute, and it was like it was chill. Mm-hmm. It was um, it was just relaxing. So what? y'all just stayed home, or did y'all do any event? Any events? Is the bay closed? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. So y'all much. just stayed home, just mm-hmm. chilled, huh? Just chill. I think and... they're stricter than us, Loki. Mm. Mm. They're kind of prob- they're, I, I like don't think so. You don't think they're more on top of it? Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't think so. Cause you know here in LA right now, if you have if you don't follow the the COVID protocols, they'll turn off your water and power. Oh. They just announced you it. You're gonna be funky and without lights? Cause yeah. bitch, I went outside, bitch, if you don't I was like, water. how are you gonna turn off what I pay for? That's my choice oh, if I wanna have people over. Up. Like, yeah. Whose rule is that? The, the governor? Fucking the, Biden? No, oh, no. The governor. Newsom? Our stupid ass governor. Yeah. Dang. They're stupid. I hope you fucking see this, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're stupid Not wait the okay so water. am I getting charged too though am I getting charged or yeah. you just turning off my water so you just gonna turn my shit off and charge me yeah. bitch I'll slap the fuck out yeah you. they're play with LA me. LA's a you know LA's a shit show right now but wait for how long this little probationary period I don't know how are I, they gonna catch us though I don't, just, I don't know the malls are still open are they yeah a bit <laughs> she oh, said bitch right. but I when I got these pants but when did you go though uh last weekend Oh, oh well, I think that's Monday. why. I think yeah, oh, it Black started. Friday, it started. It started. Yeah, it started Monday. 
which was two so days I wonder ago. if the malls yeah. are still open they, they might I think be. they're back to the 20 percent um capacity thing, yeah like how there are fucking hella lines and shit yeah Cause I mean because you can get fined now like you can get somebody that uh, I know that I used to work out with got pulled over and fined for driving after 10 o'clock because you know we have a curfew I'm not about to fucking play with you I'm sorry I didn't get that thing on my phone yeah 10 o'clock is our curfew yeah we didn't get the mass notice he just like posted it mm-hmm 10 o'clock is oh, our curfew. I do not watch the news. Yeah, I don't I either. It's on the Twitters and I shit. Just, well, thank goodness. But yeah, we have it's just a mess. But anyway, it was cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanksgiving was cool. I, I dropped my new line while I was, while yeah, I was out. Come on, Tell us about your new line. Yeah. What does it say, sis? What does it say? Um, so my, my sweatshirt. What does it say? Okay, so my my sweatshirt says, continue being that MF, continue being that motherfucker, offend them with your confidence, continuously get to the bag, keep them hating, and then yourself keep being that and it spells out cocky and then on the back wow it has okay like, so that's what the that's what the collection this new is thing yeah is, it's cocky. just like being co- i'm actually dropping two more things um to add to this collection but then i have some shorts that say cocky on them and then on the back it's like a middle finger and it's like terms and conditions so basically like i want i this love to be that like Which the I terms need, and conditions yeah i got you i was actually i'm actually I'm like still didn't there. get fucking um, uh, uh, that first drop the first one <laughs> do you have the first drop no, I don't okay, think I, good. I, don't I, think I sent. Be. I didn't send any samples. <laughs> you was gonna be bad. I, I was gonna be. Bad. <laughs> wow, no, you that, rocking some send, Ari over I there? Didn't send any samples? Actually, mm-hmm. that, was, that was terrible. But yeah, bitch, that costs money. Shit, I know you it, gonna pay for this. I know it does cost fucking money. But you know, I do want to. I do want to send these out because I really, I really like them. But you know, yeah, just, sis, this so this smart. collection is so great because it represents like you wholeheartedly, a hundred percent. Like when I read, when I first read that. I was like, whoa, this is something sis would definitely yeah. say. So everybody needs to go cop that. Ari, where can we yes. find it? Ari.com? It's um always remain yourself.com. Always remain mm-hmm. yourself.com. And it's in my it's in my bio on Instagram if you just if you if Yeah, you need y'all to find go it, support. But... See you know what I'm saying? Thanks, I know everybody guys. can relate to that. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say one more thing about that. But I'm really proud of you, sis. Thanks, Come on. Thanks. And actually it's been doing really fucking good. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, you get surprised. It's been huh? yeah, I was like Oh, it's been especially for this one, because it was kind of a collection that I just kind of like spontaneously was like, let me just drop something. It's about to be Black Friday. And then I didn't really prepare, you know, as much as I did for my first drop. And like people loved it. Like mm-hmm. people love this little they loved it. So thanks, guys. Yeah. Anything Aww. that you wear, anything that represents you, anything that represents Ari, the one that they love to watch, dance, talk, all that shit. Like, they, it's a fucking given. Happen. Yeah. How about but you, you know? Jazz? How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. I mean, I did a lot of work. You oh. did work? Yeah, I've been working. Home? Huh? <laughs> oh, you've just been working, Like, you've been working, like, at... Oh, working no. in gen- on your shit. Yeah, yeah, my stuff. Like, mm. my YouTube website, all tell that. Tell us. Tell us. So, your YouTube is live. Uh-huh. My mm-hmm. YouTube is live. I'm so excited. Posted some stuff. I'm working on my clothing line. Mm-hmm. Oh. I did a sneak peek of it on Saturday, and I've been having a couple meetings, and I should be in the final stages by the end of this week. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, so what is your YouTube, though? My YouTube's just Miss Jazzy. Miss Jazzy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so same as your Instagram. Yep, everything's aligned. The website that I have is ghettoproductions.com. Of course. Yes. Yeah, has to be. Ghettoproductions.com. Y'all already know who we have at the Ghetto Production. <laughs> everything on that shit. I mean, it kind of aligns with my YouTube because everything is just very ghetto and not very put together because it's me and mm. no one has time to fucking edit that shit. So, it's <laughs> <laughs> so we're just posting. I we're just posting. Stop fucking playing with me. Right. I'm movie. I'm it cut. Cut. <laughs> And cut, <laughs> cut. Please go. Wait. So on your YouTube, do you have all of those things? Like, do you, so you have dance videos. You have like get right now. Videos. I was yeah, posting yeah. like little dance videos just to like get some content up and going. I'm editing two vlogs right now, and I just like was really irritated last night and got drunk and went to sleep because mm. editing is <laughs> is a bitch. Yeah, Woo! yeah. If y'all want to edit for edit, me, editing is very annoying because I was looking at them clips like, mm, child. Editing is a different beast. Yeah, I'll that's why vlogging. Like, oh, that's why care. vlogging and being a YouTuber and all that shit. It may look like Props the to y'all and motherfuckers yes. who really fucking but vlog. But to freaking record everything and then find and a time to edit and do all those transitions. Right. Yeah. Find oh, other shit. clips from different movies and shit and yeah. put it in. Like that's a no for me, dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a no. That They're shit just, looks easy, but I've it's been looking not. at my laptop like. Y'all don't need no fucking vlog. I'll go live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, for real. That shit will make you be like, never mind. I'm going to go live and save the live. And then upload Upload it. the so, live. I already did that. I know. I saw. <laughs> she said she. Oh, you're serious. No, she literally uploaded the live. Who on YouTube. I saw bitch? you post that shit. Because, stop fucking playing with me. I know. So y'all can watch the live y'all again. Can wa- 
Because it was funny. Because it was funny. Okay. Y'all can watch live again. Yes. And again and again and again. Okay. So Mm -hmm. you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just been doing that. Um, You went to your family's though. I saw it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Ooh. (laughs) I could just sense it. I could just sense it. I know these it's two. It's personalities, you know. Mm. Families have strong personalities. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you could only be around certain people for so long. You'd be like, oop, oop, oop. That's why I moved out. Gotta go. Mm. Mm. But was it your immediate family or is it other people? Like No, I was uncles? literally just with my mom, dad, and my little brother. And then even that it, just kind of. It was cute. But I feel like, I think for us, because we've never done the holidays just us four, mm. I've always done it with my whole family. So mm-hmm. it was just different. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like people had different expectations of what they wanted to do. With grandparents, different sides. I like the Panamanian side with my dad's family. And the day before, we'd eat all this yummy Hispanic food. And then mm-hmm. when we go to my mom's side, it's the soul food. And my grandma mm-hmm. be inviting everybody and their mama over. Mm-hmm. So then to kind of just sit with just us four. So like, it was different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see uh, y'all a lot. Really? But were you only there for a day? Like, Which were you I was only there, there for the night. And I went to my bed. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that she joke. really couldn't stand up. She was I, like, went, I can't be here any longer. It was just diff- it was different. Like it was cool. We the food was bomb. I helped my mom cook all this great stuff. But then afterwards, I was like, ooh, <clears throat> I'm gonna see y'all next weekend. Right, mm-hmm. right, or maybe two weekends, bitch. Okay, nah, that's exactly how I felt. So what I did is Tally and I actually separated in the morning. Like I went to my grandmother's house. <laughs> house right. uh, grandmother's house because my grandma you know she's maturing very well mm-hmm. she's kind of getting to that point or whatever right so um visited her and this was the first time that like all of her kids were at home mm-hmm. right all of her kids were at home so i got to see my cousins aunt uncle and my aunt like brought so much soul food so i was able to have some soul food i hate you <laughs> and um you know, that my dad's side, like, I don't really talk about my dad much. I don't really, you know, uh, we already had our little dad-daughter episode. So, you know, we already know what that is. I am definitely my father. I'm definitely my father's daughter because we are just like, mm, 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 mm. And that's kind of part of the reason why I've just been in this funk for two days. I don't know if y'all saw my story, but, yeah, bitch has been going through it. But before I even get into that. Then went over to my mom's house. That's when I met Tally. Did not have soul food. It was like, what did we have? Yeah, some lumpia. She yeah, actually, actually we did. What you tell know about you, lumpia? Tell your mom I want some lumpia. Yeah. Oh my God, I love if lumpia. y'all don't know what lumpia is, it's almost it's like good. a like a Filipino egg roll. It's so bomb. With like either vegetable or meat in it. Mm-hmm. So did good. not have soul food over there, but it was nice to be with my mom. Y'all already know how I feel about her. Drunk to mm-hmm. our motherfucking head. I love that. With wine and yeah, of it was course. cool. You know, for Thanksgiving for 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 it to be well rounded and for me to see everybody. Everyone, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, That's we just tight. weren't with Tally's family. Tally's sister was here, but hopefully we can get to that to where we're like all together, able to. Yeah. Um. <sighs> let's get to it. So I've been in a funk the past two days where not even like smiling worthy. It's like. Yeah, I would like be on my hike. Yeah, I would be on my hike. I went hiking by myself for the first time yesterday and the day before. And I literally was just like, mm-hmm. oh, walking like, zombie. I know um, that. And usually, and I never like notice that because some like on a regular day, my face is just like pleasant. Like, pleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm whatever. But I would catch myself and I'm just, my face is so heavy. Mm-hmm. Like just my eyes are just swollen from crying. My freaking forehead is I feel like somebody's pushing down on my mm-hmm. face. And I'm just I was just and I don't know if, if that's kind of like borderline, you know, depression or whatever. I don't know if I was like kind of sneaking in there. Obviously, I didn't get there because I'm already out. It only took two days. But uh, I think this was the first time I was just like mm, in bed all day. In bed all day yesterday yeah. until I went to my mom's. It was hiking. Ooh, I know that. I feeling. still had the strength. I'm happy Absolutely. that I still had the strength to go hiking that's, and to that's great. positive. Okay. That's, that's great. a really good and thing. And to be with nature. Yeah, that's great. But it's not like I connected with it. I literally, and that's what I was saying in my head. I'm like, I'm literally just doing this just to walk because I just need to walk. But that's yeah. still good. And the fact that maybe I have that awareness. Yeah, because that's still really good because some people can't even get themselves out, out of bed. bed. Like I don't so even. So for you, I trying to. If I'm like down, I can't even go nope, outside. Don't talk it's too to bright. me. It I needs can't. to be dark. Yeah, I need to stay in the room. Mm-hmm. Covers up. I'm not I was eating. so. I was like, 
should I call somebody? Should I call? I like I was so close to mm-hmm. calling you or something like that or like one of my high school friends. But mm-hmm. this is the first time I just wanted to be like, just keep Let it me to just myself. Take a second. No, keep I feel it to that. Myself. I didn't want to talk to nobody. Sometimes it's better that way. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. sometimes it really is. It really is better that way. Just to just sit with your emotions. To you know, because after you talk to somebody, it's like okay. But do I still feel better? It's like I heard I heard a different side or I, right. I, I got to get it out, but I'm still having to deal with what's in here. Yeah, people give advice off of their place. Here. Yeah, and it's just kind of like I still have to deal with my emotions myself. So sometimes it's better that way, especially especially when the, it's it's a certain circumstance. Like it just it's better that way. Yeah. You yeah. can actually figure out how you're feeling and not what someone else is oh, but I perceiving couldn't. what you did. I couldn't, couldn't. figure I couldn't figure out what I, I was just I just felt Down. angry. I yeah. felt angry. I felt sad sometimes. Like I would just go from angry to sad, angry to sad, angry to sad. And for the people wondering why, I just feel like I'm dealing with personality changes. And it was a full moon the past two days. It was a full moon and that's just when things are just either aligning or shifting for the better, I believe. So anytime that there's a full moon, y'all should go outside yeah. and do a prayer. This That's like the ultimate, you know, like manifestation stage. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I anyway. I like to do cards on full moon. Tarot cards, yeah. yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's exactly why I just posted on my story. But I'm dealing with personality changing, like through, like with the closest people around me. And it's making me feel like who I almost don't recognize the people who are around me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like the personality changes for them is for the better. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that's what they need to do for themselves. For them. right. Is it convenient for me? Hell the fuck no, because I'm used to you being, <laughs> being a, certain a certain way. way. Yeah. yeah. Um, Especially for a long time. It's like you get used to you that. You get accustomed to yeah. that, to responding to certain people and adapting in that way. But Right. But then with the personality changes from, you know, certain people, I just feel like they were able to tell me things that I needed to hear from myself. Mm -hmm. Brutal things. Mm -hmm. It is so fucking hard. I think the hardest thing about like life sometimes and the people who are around you who are really for you is Mm -hmm. when they tell you the truth about About yourself. Ooh, it's like shit. That Hit me a while punch. I'm down, bitch. That's a punch in the ego. Yo. Damn, knocks you off that high horse. I know. Wait, you it didn't is. even know you was on a high horse till you fell down. Until, okay, I, it's rough. I'd be saying that I know how to do this. I know how to communicate. I know how to. I know how to uh, have a. a uh, an argument where it's not like you know mm-hmm. it's like an effective argument mm-hmm. where it's where we're absolutely gonna find a solution you understand how I'm feeling I understand how you're feeling da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. nah I don't know how to do that Humbled. I fight to win yeah oh humbled yep. Yep. I do that all the time. And I say that I don't. I say yep. that I I know not to argue to win. I know not, not to listen to, to you yeah. for, a, for the response. Mm-hmm. When I was listening to certain people, I was literally in my head. I'm like, okay, so, so I'm going to point I'm out that. Oh, yep. I'm going to point that out. Coming for okay. that. Coming nope, for that. that was wrong. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, he was right about that one. Yeah. Okay, but not didn't get the full details on that as yep. to why I did that. Let me justify why I did this. Mm-hmm. Like, I was literally listening. Listening to respond. Listening to mm-hmm. respond. That's not even funny, but that just, it'd be like that. It'd be I like that. To Actually, bitch, my shirt was pink. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck you over here. Talking about the day it was blue. It was Actually, pink. I didn't say that. It was you're pink. lying. And you're fucking yeah. wrong and because I was drinking fuck- juice. And all of that doesn't fucking matter. He, At all. He hit it on the head. Like, he got everything... Just everything that I've heard about myself from my parents, from Tally, from, mm-hmm. you know, some of my friends. Like, I think I'm just... I, I just need to hear mm-hmm. things about me because I feel like I identify with so many things. Like, and I think you guys too. Like, you're... In either you're a relationship, you're a girlfriend, you're a daughter, you're mm-hmm. a best friend, mm-hmm. you're a sister, mm-hmm. you're a teacher, you're a fucking owner, you're a, da, da, a part da, da, of you. Da, da, yep. Da, da, da. yep. And it's like, okay, do we live life um, being all of those things and finding the balance of being all those things? So I'm just all of this, or when I'm with certain people, I'm this. Right. When I'm certain people, mm. I'm this. Right. When I'm with Tally, I'm the loving wife. I'm not the fucking queen that knows everything and did right. and the teacher. I'm the wife i'm the partner i'm the lover Mm -hmm. so let me put my let me put all of what comes along with the two million two million followers and all that to the side and let me just be mm, you know what i mean when i'm with my dad or my mom i'm the daughter daughter. i'm someone who's still learning i'm you know because i don't know if my parents really see me as like in a different light yeah but i'm always gonna be you know their daughter so i'm like do i pretend that i don't know as much as i do so i can still give them the room to be my parent Mm mm-hmm 
Mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with like turning certain things off. Like we all have very loud, strong personalities, but time and place, reading the room and all that. Mm-hmm. And it's not letting go of who you are. It's just adapting to situations, which people do on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't walk into class the way we walked into this room. Right. Like, like we do it, when you go into a business meeting, you're not, I'm not going to be the same way. Yeah. And that's just normal. So it's, like, not a bad thing to find that balance. And especially when people do change and and they're figuring things out within them, Mm -hmm. then, like you said, it's like a mirror for you to understand things about you, too. So either way, you guys are both going to be able to grow and adapt within different situations as you learn Mm -hmm. and understand how to move in different rooms and still maintain yourself. And then, and the thing is, is sometimes you have to, and this, this is a thing for me too, is, is sometimes a lot of the times the best growth and the most effective growth is hard. The trenches. And difficult. Unnecessary. And it makes you feel, it makes you feel like shit. It makes you feel depressed. And it's like, there's a reason that it makes you feel like that because you're, lit- you're, you're literally shedding, shedding yep. a, a shell that you yep. thought was you. And it's like, no, you're, you're just entering, elevating like to that next level. And sometimes that shit ain't easy to elevate to the next level. And that next level, level is still you. That's mm-hmm. the part. Like just because mm-hmm. you're shedding and you're in those things doesn't mean you're changing you're into just, someone that's not. You're just yeah. getting into a better you. Mm-hmm. And, and still and, and everything that's like, meant for you. And it's just right, like the, right. same, the same, the people who are doing the changing, you know, the people who are, you, you're noticing are, you know, the personality is switching a little bit. It's like that's even though it may suck for you, that's a good thing for them, you right. know, and it's going to be a good thing for you once you get past the dark part of I the adjust. situation. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think some of us forget, too, that other people are allowed to grow. Like, you get mm. accustomed to certain mm. people's relationships and how you mm. grow, and then you have to take a step back and be like, oh, shit, they still have to evolve, too. Like, I can't talk Blow-lo. to them mm-hmm. about me and my- <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke, y'all. You're not supposed Fuck. to. Oh. I mean, yeah. No, you know what? And now that you put it that way, I'm like, yeah, because who am I? Who would I be? We talk about our own growth to Stop people. somebody else's growth, growth. even though yeah. it, it maybe inconvenience me or I don't want to see it that way or yep. it's not happening the way Oof. that I would it's want. It's so different observing uh. it. And you're like, ah. Yeah. But then you think about when you get in your shit and you're mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm just doing this. But then you know that it feels good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like giving it's like, that well, same courtesy sorry. to them. Like, yeah. fuck, okay, they're going through it. But guess what? That blossom at the end is mm. going to be Like you love your butterflies it. and you're changing in your growth. Mm. And that's something that so resembles to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other people are still butterflies as well. You're not the only butterfly. Mm. I meant that very loving. I don't know if that came off really harsh. <laughs> no, I got only. it. That's no, I got it though. Loving. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. we still have to give people that same courtesy and respect that we give ourselves for growth and adapting and realizing, like Ari said, that beginning phase of growth is real fucking it's ugly. Mm-hmm. Them caterpillars are real gross. The mm-hmm. hairy and what the fuck is that? <laughs> right. In a literal and, sense. And the and cocoon is sense. also ugly, ugly, fucking shit turd. Right. And then you're like, wow. <laughs> like, that is a beautiful ass butterfly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Right. That little shit, shit sack of right. your depression. Yeah, 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 right. yeah y'all. That's right. exactly that's a, that's exactly what it is. The hmm. hard some of the hardest things you go through in life are just just stepping stones. Yep, that's and all. it's gonna happen again. Yep, it is, and it's just gonna. But then you're just entering into a different, you know, a different level of growth, and and it, and it's supposed to get better. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to get better. God don't I, end yeah. on a bad note, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. When I'm, I'm in it, I'm, when I'm in it, it fucking it's like. I don't know how to give to the people who fucking follow me. And like, I don't know how to do my job or whatever. And I'm like, nah, that is your job. Like if you feel stay in it, which is Mm -hmm. why I didn't post anything for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like the last fucking thing I posted was like five days ago, whatever. I was able to get on my story a little bit, whatever the situation is. Um, But I actually liked posting on my story that I, I, I liked letting the world know that I was going through it. I, I, mm. I like to let y'all know that we fucking go through. We don't just say mm. it like we actually <laughs> do it. We actually go through we it. We actually it's go it through it. And we are not the queen that we say that we are mm-hmm. at that time. Or we don't feel we are the queens, but we it's don't the feel hum, like the queens mm-hmm. that, you know, we put ourselves out to be. And we are just as human. I think a lot of people say, yeah, we're just human. Da, 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 da. Y'all don't act is, like it, though. Right. Ooh. And we don't get to see that. You know what I mean? And if we do this for a living where we put our lives out to y'all through the internet and the media and all that. I think that's a very important thing for you to show and for you to share. Yeah. I mean, to each his own, to each his own. Um, Cause it is a very personal experience. Um, 
but I think that what that's what makes me me, and that's what's gonna fucking make this bounce back fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. It's the strength and vulnerability, mm-hmm. and you know some people balance that vulnerability differently. And like I'm the type of person I don't mind being vulnerable, but I need to be vulnerable after I process and after I get through. Because mm-hmm. when I'm in the moment, I'm not the type of person who can share. Mm-hmm. I think everything's a teaching lesson, and people can relate to certain things, and I love that. But I gotta get through my shit first, bitch. So before. So how do y'all how do y'all deal with something like that? Like if you guys can kind of revisit where um, revisit when you maybe were in a funk or uh, borderline depression <laughs> or, you know, you just weren't feeling it. How do you deal? How do you deal with it? Um, What is your process? Because everybody has their own process, right? Yeah. My process is not going to be the same as anybody else's. Honestly, so I what's think, your process? I think it de- I think it depends on the situation um but reading is what really helps me Mm. um reading like self-help books um i'm actually reading this book right now it's called whole again and it's fucking Mm. good it's a great book Mm -hmm. um but just reading reading self-help books and then kind of just um i think i've learned to i i like suppress my emotions a mm-hmm. lot mm-hmm. and in my head it's like oh well you know you're you're over it and it's like no you're you're not over it it's still it's still there because if you were over it and if you were healed from it then you wouldn't be triggered by certain things mm-hmm. or you you know it wouldn't put you in a bad mood you're not over it you just suppress the emotion and you're trying to act like you don't care mm-hmm. you're trying to act like it doesn't bother you when really you're just trying to forget but you can't you don't know don't do that and you y'all. can't yeah it's like don't when people say they don't do care that. about something yeah. when they're so pissed, when they, you're literally they, you literally got to the point of not caring to protect yourself from other it's shit. It's a protect yeah. It's, it's a, a coping a protective, mechanism. It's a protective shield and that's literally what the fuck I'm reading about right now. It's crazy. But it's I, it's literally a protective shield and I've I think I've I've gotten to the point where it's like, you know what? It's okay if you need to spend like 2 days in bed just upset and like crying and fucking eating and just ch- it's it's okay. Yourself. Yeah, and then do what you, then need, do what you need exactly. Do what you need to do to get that emotion out, then get to the next steps of working on it. Then get to the next steps of healing and 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 you know, keeping busy and doing those things and and with keeping busy, you know, I always thought that like, oh, it's it's great to keep busy because it keeps your mind off of it. And it's like it is good to keep busy because, you know, nobody wants to walk around depressed all day. But you also have to realize that those emotions don't go away when you're not busy. And I think just distracted me living by my just distracted. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with it. Exactly. And me living by, by myself, <laughs> me living by myself has helped tremendously like Mm. tremendously I mean if I would walk into the house and me and Nicole just got into it or whatever the fuck and she pissed me off and I'm upset and I feel this and then I'm just like okay so I either have to walk around the house just not say anything and it's fucking awkward or I have to act like it doesn't bother me anymore when really I'm pissed and I just have to continue to keep the peace it's like now that I live by myself I can just your emotions are what they are you can stay Mm. over there Mm. and I'm Mm -hmm. gonna stay here and Mm -hmm. I'm good I'm happy as hell at home by myself you know what I'm saying so isolation yeah it's like when you're when you're going through something you kind of just have to be gentle with yourself I think is what I've good one what I've noticed you just have to be gentle and be patient Cause I'm not patient. There you go. Like I'm not patient. I'll be that like, should be why? Your next sorry, drop. Okay, be gentle, gentle and patient. patient. Because <laughs> why are you still? Why I be? I would get mad at myself. Why are you waking up sad, bitch? Get over it. And it's like, I'm no, not over it, bitch. you're not yeah, over no, it. So chill fine. out. And you just have to take baby steps. But people who like to read self help books are very helpful. Yeah. Like I don't like that they're called self help books, but it's like it. It. It's just. You you learn self growth. Self yeah, it's more of a growth. growth. Yeah, it's more of a it's, it's more of a growth. But they're they're great. I've learned some things about myself that I literally when you it's almost like you were saying when somebody's telling you about yourself, it's like oh shit. Well, that's how I feel when I read. I'm like, but it's like that's me, way. bitch. Yeah. yeah, it's like they that, know how to. I put do that. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> that's me. You mean to tell me I got what now? I got post traumatic stress <laughs> disorder. Stop, because that really happened to me the other day. For no, real? for real. Yeah, I had a consultation with a therapist, and that bitch read me. I did not call her back. Really? Because she read the fuck out of me. I wasn't ready to be read like that. Mm. Don't do that. We was mm. talking like about you got your money's worth. Talking about you have a pain addiction. I was like, get the fuck off my phone. 
Yeah. Okay. Go to hell. I know wow. that. Wow. She it was basically she was saying like I went through a lot of traumatic things in a short period of time to where I got used to being so sad that I self sabotage when I get happy because that feeling of yep. pain was so prominent in Absolutely. my life. Absolutely. When Everybody she said listen. that, I was like, nah. Can you get the fuck off my phone? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm happy today, bitch. And so you how about that? Yeah. You see that in your little crystal ball, it bitch? Fuck okay. you. She read the it's fuck. The, I was the dr- truth though. Mm-hmm. But like Along what Arya was saying, I think a big thing for me is just acknowledgement of my feelings. Mm -hmm. And a conversation we had a while ago, earlier, or whatever, is you were saying, like, do you choose to be in certain emotions and things like that? And at times for me in my healing process, I choose to acknowledge that feeling wholeheartedly instead of suppressing. Because I went through a phase of constant suppressing and I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm going to walk outside, put a little lip gloss on, slick Mm -hmm. an edge, and do what I got to do until you blow the (laughs) fuck up. You blow up off some stupid shit, and now mm. you calling everybody a bitch ass motherfucker, and this, that, and third. You could see me, that, and it's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all she said was like, your shirt's backwards or something, and you're right. ready to blow up. Me as right. So, I really work on, like Ari said, if I need to stay the fuck in bed, I'm That's staying what in I do. bed. Yep. Yeah. I am staying in bed, and I, I think I told this to you. I don't remember which one of you. My mom told me this when I was like trying to figure out how to cope with my emotions, and she's really good, like with with breaking things down. And she's like, if you're in a dark room no lights no windows no nothing the only way light will get through is if something breaks so let it break yeah that's absolutely yeah like let yourself break Mm -hmm. so then the light can come through so once i heard that and it's not a matter of like being okay and being complacent with being sad but if you are sad like okay i'm sad and i love to connect my dots what happened today why am i sad from this and how can i grow from that Mm -hmm. and Mm. i firmly believe with your emotions I look at emotions like school. I know that's really weird, but you don't pass first grade until you get the fundamentals of first grade to go to second grade. Mm -hmm. So with my emotions, if I don't understand how to process this feeling of sadness from whatever it triggered, the next time I feel that, I'm going to be right back in this depression. Same place, absolutely. So why don't I understand why I'm feeling this, Mm -hmm. how I can get the skills to grow from that, and then move forward? Because things are only going to continue to essentially get worse as you get higher. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Things get harder, more shit comes at you. And if I'm lacking the fucking bare minimum of acknowledging where I'm at, oh, I'm fucked. Absolutely. Right. I'm right. fucked. Absolutely. Bitch, I, you ain't gonna catch me reading. That's amazing for you. She said, I can't B- read. You don't like to read? Girl, boo, I got this degree book free. <laughs> <laughs> they I'm said, y'all gonna buy 100,000 books. Wait, but weren't, no. you were reading something not too long ago. I did do that. So she only did that for about? the story. No, I, that okay. was a good <laughs> She only that did that was a story. She said, Let me that take a was an excellent like book. That shit is highlighted and, anno- and annotated, but that's only because the author writes literally how I talk. Like, it's not mm. written like no top publisher, number one America's bestseller. Hit, like, when he spells and, it'd be like, and, A A A A N N D. Oh. Boo Boo and Ray Ray and Kui Kui was doing this, and that's why you feel the way you do. And I was like, dang, Boo Boo, Ray Ray, and Kui Kui did do that. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm dead ass. Where do you get your books from? Bro? Amazon. Right. Okay, because they know Barnes and Noble. That's they you ain't not gonna catch me no with Boo Boo Ray, Boo Ray, Ray and Queen. But Barnes. like, y'all, that book really changed my life. Did it? I was in real states of zen. I would wake up. I wouldn't check my phone. I read a chapter a day, and then one chapter pissed me off, Ooh. and I fell and then off. You fell off, right? I got back on. I did finish the book. Hurt your ego, but it's what it did. No, it's not some stupid shit. Talk about don't have sex till marriage. I was like, oop, gotta go. Oop, right? Yeah. Can't agree with that one. No, but <laughs> that, that. That, that really is how Going they are. Hell. Sometimes you see stuff, and it's like, mm, that's not for me. But that's what I love about the 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 like Opens the growth. Your yeah, because it's like maybe this would work for me. Like maybe maybe this route that this person took in this situation could possibly help. So maybe I could try Mm -hmm. it and it's just reading I don't like to read personally I don't like to read but when I started the self-help self-help books I read I try and read like I don't read a lot now I read like a chapter a chapter a month a A chapter a month I gotta read yeah I read every three days I read like a chapter not a page every three days look a chapter like a week (laughs) unless I'm in a (laughs) my retention a little no she said a little problem over there that is an issue that's a bit that's a problem she said a page a I graduated with a 3.8. It worked. Okay, apparently, bitch. <laughs> it worked. Nah, every, I think you will find a book for you. Y'all gotta read that, uh, that like, what is it? Um, What is that part right before the book starts? Like, right before chapter one? The prologue or something? Like yeah, the, the little yeah. prologue or whatever. Is that the right word? Um, mm-hmm. And then, and if not, there are okay. so, 
<laughs> there's still there's audio books like, I like okay, audio I can books. do audio yeah just listen audio books you know are what cool. I'm saying when you're taking a shower when the you're car. driving mm-hmm. yeah all of that like audio books, audio cool. books um, walking mm-hmm. for me is like a way of zen you yep. know what I mean like how reading is for you walking nature sound bowls are cool all of that fucking yeah. jazz yeah incense yep. tarot all cards all of those tarot cards incense. oracle oh, cards all of tar- those let me tell you how these tarot cards oh my god it's so fucking crazy how you I've never had a reading I know you what, pick bitch? the card and it is it so is accurate to what it is that you're dealing with yep. whether you want to know something about your love life know something about a situation it is know something so about a per like oh my accurate. god it was I gotta so go to a reader that's what I needed no nah, you can just get, get from a, spir- a like a spiritual store yeah. just get tarot card just get just look up some tarot cards and there's just different decks and just pick the mm-hmm. one that just attracts you the most mm-hmm. and bam because I think the reason cards. why I'm out of my little funk is because the tarot cards that I picked yesterday. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. I needed to hear every one of they're, every one of those cards. They're great. I love tarot cards. I, I love them. I have a pack. They're called like Monday, Monday something. Um, and I pull three every Monday to like hmm. start my start my week off. And they're they're great. I like ask it. Where am I at right now? What do I need to work on? And like, mm-hmm. what you know? Oh, where that. am give I headed? Me some guidance. Or give me like, yeah, it's more so for guidance in your head. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I love so them. Th- mm-hmm. that was okay. Really you gonna nice. do one with me? Mm-hmm. You want? You want That's me to actually. Me I actually have a tarot yeah. app. Here we go. Yeah, tarot oh, app. Shit. Oh shit. Getting fancy. Angel tarot cards. Wait, my heart is racing. I'm scared. Come on. Scared? See, this is what it yep, looks like. Yep, that's exactly what they look like. Mm-hmm. Something like. like oh, oh shit. <laughs> It said unplug. <laughs> right. Is it unplugged, Elliot? No, you good. Okay. No, you good. All right. So okay. begin reading. Here we go. Oop. Only five days remain on your free trial. <laughs> okay, <cool. laughs> Here we go. Only five days remain. Oh, Here you go, Jazz. Crying. Do you want a simple reading, past, present, future, situation, or concern? The Celtic cro- Nope. Okay. Just pick I'm from sorry. simple reading, past, present, future, or situation or concern. Past, present, or future. Ziggy. Oh my god, my heart is literally pounding. Is that, why? Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just I don't know. It's just like guidance, you know? Just like bitch yeah, like my just, horoscope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, almost yeah. like that. It's like it's like horoscope like co-star? type shit. Yes. I love a co-star. co-star. Mm-hmm. I made my whole family love, download co-star, co-star and we checked our compatibility. I, I love said mm-hmm. co-star. Okay, wait. I just want to know the order that you pick them in. After completing steps three and four, pick three cards from the top of the deck. Yup, yup. Choose a card. Okay. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna like I could scroll and just pick whatever. Scroll pick. and just and let me center myself. Just yeah, center yourself. Uh-huh. Like, fix my breathe. posture and shit. Yep. Come correct. You're just gonna pick a card and it's past, present, future in that order. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you'll just yeah, whenever you feel. In the mic. Okay. Pick it. Mm-hmm. Oh Ooh. shit, not the noise. That sounds really <laughs> angelic. Oh, that was the present one too. Come on, that's oh. Oh. Okay. I need this app. Talk about some like What? I thought I picked all three. I'm tripping. Why? What did it say? It was saying doing it again, but I thought I picked three. Tap card for for what? For present. Oh. Maybe you have three each thingy. Oh, 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 okay, I see. Okay, so this one is, I think this was my future, page of water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins, a new phase. Heightened <laughs> physical abilities. Mm-hmm. See what I'm talking about? See? Okay, keep going. Okay, so what, what card is this? Page of water. Page of water. And now she's kind of, for people who are listening, she's going to read the description of what that means, what that card means. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened physical abilities. Is that accurate? Psychic Jack? abilities, sorry. Is that accurate? That may be a little accurate. It's a little mm-hmm. accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay, cute. What are the other cards? That's super cute. Oh, these are my three. Okay, my present. <clears throat> Justice, the card of justice. Hmm. Archangel. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Yeah, Archangel. No, there's another oh. word after it. 
Archangel Regal. That's Regal. the name. That's the, yeah. Okay. So we have these, so almost like your guardian the angels. Angel. That's what mm-hmm. an archangel is. And in this case, she has Archangel Regal. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Mm. That's That was my present card. Mm-hmm. I love that. I think that's absolutely perfect for right now mm-hmm. in terms of like, Making new decisions and expanding my brand and myself and mm-hmm. standing mm-hmm. firm in that despite the, the other noise that's in my head mm-hmm. and, and from other people. and What's this app called, sis? I'm sorry. Uh, Tarot Angel, I think. Tarot Angel. Wow. This card comes to you because you're trying to make a decision. The angels guide you to wise and carefully decisions. Mm. Wow. Yeah. With bro. fairness extended forward, everyone involved, including yourself. If you can't be objective in this matter, seek out someone who can act as an arbitrator. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Cute. Does okay. that kind of, the, can you relate that to something that's happening Absolutely. right now? Absolutely. Okay, good. Absolutely. Okay, good. my past. Ooh, I'm nervous. Yeah. Eight of Earth. Ooh, what is that? Oh, bitch, I didn't even click the read more. Your heart is in your work or studies. You've committed to learning about your career, vocation, or project. You're definitely on the right track. Your dedication, skill, and talents are appreciated and will soon be rewarded. Damn, that's deep. Still, there's more to learn. Consider taking classes related to your interest or profession. A serious commitment to study or research is now called for. It may be time to go back to school. Oh, bitch, that's crazy. I was talking about getting my master's. What? Oh yeah, that's I was right. thinking she about that like all quarantine, yeah. wanting to go and get my master's for marriage and family therapy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Additional meaning of this card: craftsmanship, apprenticeship, diligence, attention to detail, and committing to all these projects. Like I think now that I'm in this place and I'm starting all my new projects, like before I was like committed to learning about your career, vocation, or project, you're definitely on the right track. Mm. That's when I was like in my beginning processes of thinking like what I'm going to do, how I'm going to elevate, what else I need in my life, what's the next step. Right. Mm-hmm. Damn, Gina. So that's kind of like how a Oof, reading will go. You can cards. either, yeah, you can. You guys can either get a tarot card or you guys can actually have a reader, like a medium that can actually like tap in to Those these. Those freak me. Not, not freak me out in a bad okay, way, but good. when I get them, it makes me cry. Because oh my they're, God, all the time. The tarot cards are like on point, but a reading is A, like, a medium that can oh tap into God. more energy and, more, and archangels and, and can actually like kind of see them in their head. So I think when a medium... I think when a medium does that, don't think of someone who's like a freak or like can see an no. actual person and can like uh-uh. identify them clearly. It's just energy, y'all. They'll they'll just see they like something see. something Ugh. general about the archangel, whether it be masculine energy or feminine, like yeah. man or woman, or you know what I mean. If they're, it's just all in general. And this is not. Don't think of mediums or I'm don't think of tarot these to cards. Yeah, don't think of tarot cards as like a psychic, like looking Mm-mm. through a crystal ball saying Jasmine is gonna do this by tomorrow and she's gonna she she's when she leaves this room she's gonna freaking fall on a fucking branch or yeah, you, I right. it's not it's not that it's kind of just guiding you Guidance. depending on what's happening what's happening in your life right now you know um judging by like what she just did these yeah. tarot cards were kind of just confirm or that just future guide her, one? push her either away from what's happening or bring her closer to you know one of her goals or love or any of that. So I really, really, especially me, y'all, because I don't really get into funks as often, but these the past two days, it was an intense feeling and these tarot cards really helped me. And it literally, it made me read words that I needed to read. And it almost kind of, it's almost like you're reading to yourself. Because yeah. like Sis said, sometimes when you ask for advice from somebody, they may be answering from their perspective and from their opinion and from, you know, just a totally different place that you need. Yeah. This is kind of like reading to yourself almost. You know what I'm saying? Like you, she picked these cards. Mm-hmm. She's reading those words to herself. Yeah. She's relate. She knows what she's talking about. Only her. Me and sis don't know what's happening in her right. motherfucking life. In a general sense, yeah, but she can really like nitpick the Where, details yeah. and place them in the correct places to bring her to I'm smiling. Yeah, tarot cards that are That future one. Did you send it? Did you have? I'm sorry. Did you have any other cards that you wanted to share? Or you, you, or you had it too? I shared all three. Um, okay. I just that's very. That's confirming. what you needed, right? Yeah, I really am yeah, excited. Tarot cards See? are great. Elliot, how much time do we have? I'm just checking. I'm like, are we going off here? 
15, 15 minutes left. Okay, so um, does anybody else have anything to say on that note? Because there's some questions from Instagram that people had. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, Q&A. Um, mm-hmm, I love that a little Q&A. Had. Oh, shit. We need a little freestyle dance. My emotions are all... <laughs> Five, six, seven, seven eight. Go jazz, go jazz, go jazz, <laughs> go jazz, go Ari, go Ari, go Ari, go Ari, a goalie, 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 go Elliot, go Elliot, go Elliot, go Elliot. Yeah, yeah. Keep out of the pocket. Yeah. What's that? Here with it. Okay. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Was okay. Little, okay. <laughs> that was good. Um, That's funny. How to shake it out. Worst audition story, go. Oh, <laughs> bitch. I, trust, I crashed a Trey Song's audition. You did? Yeah. She said Why crashed. was it the worst audition, though? Because it was Trey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, bitch, because I made it to the very fucking end, and they were like, oh, babe, who are you signed? It's not on your resume. I was like, I'm not signed. Like, oh, it's for block people only. Mm. Sounds about right. Bitch, when I tell you I was in there just giving you all I, I fucking got, I gave ass, I gave face, I gave no titty, but... I, I definitely gave some titty. I okay. definitely gave Fucking some titty. Fucking killed okay. it. And they were like, love you. Where's but, your agency? Yeah. Call them. Tell them. Tell them to sign me right now. Tell them. Tell them. Damn, damn, that sucks. Yeah. That's so whack. Definitely went through that. Um, my, my worst, worst audition, audition, it was like the best, but worse. Because I had auditioned for J-Lo for her tour. That was the hardest audition sure. I had ever ever fucking been to so nap and tabs did like a cute little hip-hop wasn't nap and tabs? i don't know if it was nap and tabs but first of all they did like a cute little hip-hop routine <laughs> killed that shit but then they brought in this latin, latin. choreographer and you needed to give me <laughs> I know, sammy and diego right Aaliyah said i'm filipino i'm filipino <laughs> i get out of here oh, tell me do, do the fucking combos that's just like cute gay, little gay, right gay, gay, you know little what i mean? But damn. I have never felt so like not well rounded. I'm like, <laughs> they, damn, I'm in a motherfucking box. Okay. okay. And then when they tell you to freestyle and you see everyone else freestyle, I'm like, oh. oh yeah, nah, freestyling is not it. I hate freestyle at auditions. You gonna get a swivel before it starts. Okay. And then a <laughs> gank, gank, gank. Nah. Bitch. Stillness. I just stand. I was gonna say stand. stillness. Be different. Draw attention. <laughs> Draw attention. I'm gonna just stand while everyone's breaking it down. I'm while gonna somebody, while little Sarah's doing backflips over <laughs> yeah. there, I'm gonna stand and be like, give and then I'm gonna walk to the table, I'm a, okay? And then I'm gonna kill it and walk back. And then at the end of it, you might get a gig. You might get exactly. <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk and off. I pose. <laughs> The fuck? Not this. No, no, no. fucking and do me that. that little in with it. Well, what was your worst audition, sis? I think my worst audition. I haven't had any bad, bad auditions, but I think the worst one was Jason Derulo. What was that? And this is why it was stupid. Because I made it all the way to the end, right? First of all. Who choreographed it? Jeremy, oh. yeah. yeah. First of all, there's already a girl... On, that dances for Jason that looks like looks you. like looks like me light skin curly hair you right. know usually when you have a and he doesn't have a lot of dancers there's an Asian there's a, a white, white girl, girl and, and, a, and a mixed skin. girl right mm -hmm. at, at that point when I was auditioning it was only Geneva mm -hmm. and Kayla so it was only mixed girl white girl right so they ended up adding the Asian why did you keep me all the way into the end mm -hmm. to keep Geneva well I knew that they were keeping her like they weren't getting rid of anybody but the whole reason I wanted to go, because, you know, Geneva was trying to get me to, like, we were, like, trying to be on, be the, there the, together. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the Jason tour. But it's like, but they you already knew, knew that they wanted different You knew different that you wanted a different ethnicity. Yeah. Right. You, you knew that you wanted a different ethnicity. So I literally made it all the way to the end. And then it was just kind of like... Thanks, we want a different look. Yeah, but then, but then... They didn't say that, though, did no, they? No, it okay. was just, no. But then they asked me to come to the rehearsal. <gasps> And it's like I ain't no understudy. Okay, <laughs> you better okay. pay me. I'm like, I'm like, come to the rehearsal. <laughs> my day rate. Like for what? Right. For what? Like so, it was just a weird. Oh, it was no. just a weird. It was a weird thing. But that was probably the worst one because it was kind of like, well, look who you picked to go. You knew you didn't want a mixed girl, so you could have just. I hate when they you know what told they me that want Jeremy. and still hold an audition when you have. That's your why group. the typecast is. 
Yeah, just tell, tell me. Is the one. Just tell. tell me well, and then on a black girl, exactly. Just be like, yo, you know, we already have Geneva. I would be like, I understand. Uh, period. That's her yeah. job. Exactly. People, most of the time, like if you're just now getting into the, into the dance industry, never take it personally. Right. No. I feel like all jobs are based on how you look. Sometimes it's not. It's like barely about talent. It's no, barely ass. about your no. tricks. Barely That's about what exactly. you've been spending your body. all these years on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't care if you're the most well-rounded tap, jazz, contemporary. Nope. Lyrical, hip hop, da 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 da. If you don't look the do way you that I want you to, you're not. Yeah, you gotta ask. You got, you got ask. followers. Can you follow it? Yep. Oh, writing your followers on audition papers. Isn't it? Isn't it insane? My, I haven't. Gone before to you them. even go into an audition, they hand you a paper. It's your name, your age, your social media, yeah. and your follower yep. count. It's not about your talent. No, and you sit there I like, so am I gonna do either. an eight count? I'm like, damn, they asked I'm me. Like, right. that, yeah, I know. I have an audition. In, no, that was years ago. This was maybe twenty. 17, 2018. Mm-hmm. That's and ridiculous. I was handed that paper. I was like, bitch, I'm going to get cut before I learned the eight count. Yeah, because they don't care. Pe- bitch, places I don't had care. maybe People like 6,000 followers at the time. I said, let me leave because the bitch next to me got 250K. <laughs> right. And I, I got a cute little 5,000. <laughs> okay, bitch. They're going to be like, who are you? And it's like, damn, ain't nothing wrong with that. You can't control yeah, the because- fucking algorithm. But I haven't even, I didn't even give you my post. No, and there's so many amazing dancers who, honestly, more so than not, there's so many amazing dancers who don't have followers. Followers. I'm talking about like right, right, amazing, right. amazing dancers. Amazing ass fucking like, people. Yeah, yeah better just, than us. Yeah, <laughs> ab- like, yeah, better no, than you. That's better than us. Yeah, better than us. Outdance the fuck out of me, bitch. I'm talking like these <laughs> dancers know how to do shit that shouldn't even be possible. And it's right. like, but. 400 followers. Yeah. Two two views. Yeah, it's really. It's, <laughs> It do be like that. <laughs> two views. If I'm we weren't view. dancers, what career would we choose? If yeah, if we weren't dancers, what career would we all choose? Therapist. Therapist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was kind of thinking. Okay, mm, shit. I have a few, sis. Uh, I have a criminal justice degree, so that's what I was going to school for. Yeah, I already yeah, knew that for I criminal knew that. criminal law. I wanted to be a hit me, bitch. One day. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be actually I wanted to work for the FBI that was like my end goal in in life but you know I think I would but I, I dance yeah <laughs> right you know, but I, I dance. pop pussy but I, yeah you know so I talk hate some. pop pussy I know <laughs> talking up some I think I would either I loved writing I think hmm. I would be a writer hmm. yeah um, I could see that I was in journalism for a little bit I wanted to like. I just loved writing I loved writing about my ex- and that's probably why I like the podcast because mm-hmm. I just love talking, sharing experiences, reflecting. I would maybe be a therapist because I am I feel like I'm a really great teacher. So I think I would be somewhere in that world. Um, I don't know about like a school teacher, but like maybe like a counselor or something. Yeah, a counselor. Or, be no school um, teacher. Them kids. Mm, beating somebody's okay. kids' ass. Can bring back beating kids with rulers? Mm-hmm. I don't know, bitch. I am so. I just feel like we're all living our dream. It's so yeah, hard yeah, for us definitely. to think about I'm something just that very happy, you know. Definitely. But I think, but it's so crazy what dance led us to, y'all. Especially this. Especially like think about it. This year we have. This is probably the least we've danced. This is the least I've ever danced this year. Yeah. And look at how many avenues we're in now. So we're not just dancers. Mm. We're all of these things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Jazz, where are you originally from? Someone's asking. Bay Area. Bam. How do you determine what type? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Don't ask booty questions. Um, okay. Uh, okay, these are all kind of the same. Were you the popular girl in high school? No. Yeah. Ish. I was about to say. Like, I got prom queen and shit, like shit like that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Bitch, that's surprised. a motherfucking yes then, bitch. Yeah, I got prom queen, but I, it's like... Uh, I was popular oh, wow. for the wrong reasons. Ooh. Ooh. Not like that. I was just oh. like one of the only black people. So they'd be like, you're black. Let's be friends. I was like, oh. That's strange. I don't like that. But I was always funny. Mm. Mm-hmm. So. I was popular in different... I lived all over the place, so I was popular in different places. I got along with everybody. And yeah. No one could ever really say they had beef with me or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. I never did Yeah, no, no I, I was never in drama ever. Yeah. I never even hooked up with anybody from my high school. Ooh. I haven't, I didn't, I don't know if I had my first kiss until after motherfucking, it was probably senior year. Everything happened senior year for me. <laughs> wow. wow. I didn't yeah, say all I that. Exit I didn't say all that. Everything. <laughs> Are you serious? Everything happened. When did you lose your virginity? 18, senior year. 
<laughs> I was scared, y'all. What the fuck? I was scared. And you know what? At that point, there has been there were so many stories about different girls who lost their virginity and got caught doing this mm-hmm. and receipt and fucking caught that. Like yeah. got caught, like, ooh, I see you, and then caught a little caught some, a little some. Some. Whoop. You know what I mean? Teen pregnant, like it was just it was it was scary. I was scared too. It was scary. That's why I never had sex. I was scared too, but the person I was dating was older than me. And was like, bitch, y'all be fine. What? (laughs) You'll be fine. You'll be fine. (laughs) No, but he was really patient, but I was just like, bitch, you have to like you have to do something because he's already been here and he's older and he's gonna leave you Um, if you don't do something. So I need you to do something. I waited. I was seventeen. Oh my god! I I was seventeen, but was, I was like playing games. I was like, "You have to date me for six months before you could get this." Mm. Oh, and six months came around, and you were like, "Oh shit!" Bitch, at midnight, swear to God, we was right there. We said, "We fucking." Well, I didn't well, say that's that. Great. He did it. I'm glad that you guys waited that long <laughs> to lose your virginity because I lost mine. This bitch, I was fourteen. I'm motherfucking four. I was fourteen. 14. Mm-hmm. Freshman, 14. I was dating a senior. Damn. Freshman dating a senior. But I, I mean, it was... it was. Of course it is. Yeah, right. Sounds about right. What is... Sorry, I'm just thinking... I, okay, so I watched a Billie Eilish um, interview yesterday, and I actually kind of like her. <sighs> it's my mm-hmm. baby. Yeah, I I'm actually her. like... Mm, I can I can rock with it. One of her questions in her interview was, what is more important right now that was less important to you before quarantine or before all of this and what is less important now that was more important then oh Oh, shit shit. i think most that's a good one to end us off bitch yeah i think most important now is trying everything and not saying no i used to play shit really really safe and now i'm kind of like okay if i get an idea i'm gonna do it because fuck Mm. it and I sunk like deep into shit. So now I'm just trying everything and giving myself that. I don't even know. Benefit of the doubt. Curtsy. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't fucking know what the word I'm looking for is. But I'm just going to do shit. Point blank period. No regrets. I don't know what's less important. Pleasing people. Yep. I know that sounds really fucking cliche. But at some way or another I had to learn that shit. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can really think of right now. Mm-hmm. On the spot. That's a good one. That's a good one, Jazz. Um, I can agree. I I agree to that. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what's less important. Yeah. Every I think like everything. Everything is important. Everything is important everything right now. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. Everything heightened. What's really important now for me is like myself. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I don't. I don't really know. I don't know. Like I just feel like I'm in a different place like I moved to my plate my new place like I just I'm just like focused on me like and what I got going on and just doing different things you know like try I think that's another thing is I'm I'm really focused on getting into different lanes now more so than I have been ever ever absolutely so I think I think that's quarantine has really caused me to do that like think about more shit that I want to do other than just dance yeah. and I'm I think I'm that like, goes for that goes for all of us because yeah. it put it, it put, made it us, made us mm-hmm. it made us you know look into yeah. what other things that we can do yeah what's more important for me is what's more important for me is my relationship with my family mm. um not that it was less important but I can see now after my funk I can see now that that wasn't a priority what mm-hmm. was a priority was fucking class fucking choreographing every single week for this fucking class and wishing and hoping that it would be like our next one yep and um I just I think with quarantine now and now that like um our not not lives are in jeopardy because I don't I don't really think that I don't go that far with all this shit right um but they're just mental health and just um, and time spent wisely, I think, is much more important. Quality time mm. and and knowing how to knowing how to kind of step away from your ego and what you mm-hmm. every day identify as mm-hmm. and kind of like stepping out and know and remembering who you were before all of this, before yeah. being this person that's in the spotlight. Like who was Jasmine and Ari and Aaliyah before fucking being known for yep. you know what they do and having that person spend time spending quality time with either friends or yep. family and you know your loved ones or whatever Absolutely. that's that's been more important to me um and what's less important 
Hmm. What's less important? What's less important? I don't know. Yeah, I can't even think about that. What's less important? I don't even know if it's a matter of less important, but just like within focusing on the things that are more important, the things that didn't hold as much weight naturally fell off Mm -hmm. in a positive way. Like when we think about that growth, like think of it like weight, Mm -hmm. like you're letting go of the weight and the baggage. And so it it held some sort of importance at that time for you to get to where you needed to be. But Mm -hmm. now you just don't need to think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can't really pinpoint what that is for us. Yeah, I guess I don't vibe. I guess I can't vibe We just don't need to think about it because we're not there in that moment now. Yeah, so obviously it's less important. Yeah, Yeah. it's not that any... Yeah, I don't think anything is less important. We're just in a different headspace. Yeah, I I just think things are more... There's certain things that are more important. Like, I don't think anything is less important than it used to be. It's just a priority of different well you know what i the last thing i'm gonna say before we end this is i think what's less important to me now is trying to put out things and having the intention for those things that that are put out to be like the next big thing that a legion now does you know what i'm saying every fucking video every class i would go into uh, a choreography room yeah with the mindset of this has to be the next booty remix this yeah. has to be the next what a, like yeah. level up the next i mean that's why we'd be so stressed that trying to pick a fucking l- song like, oh, two hours picking we'd a be like never song. mind we ain't having class never mind like yeah and what's more important is just how we feel at that motherfucking mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. and just what and just whatever comes out i think my most viral videos happened because i wasn't thinking of that because i wasn't thinking of it being the exactly it just fucking like happened exactly. you know what i'm saying so i think the number numbers media numbers and the uh the fucking clout is so is less important what's more important is how I'm feeling, what I really want to put out, what I really want to say, what I really want to express and share. Yeah. That's more important. And staying true to our most authentic selves. Mm-hmm, okay? Absolutely. okay. Y'all got it? On that okay. note. So on that note, I want to I want to film a part two for this week. So I want two episodes to come out this week, whether they're free or not. I need a part two because y'all, I owe it to y'all to give y'all another episode since I missed last week for Thanksgiving. So what I want to do, I'm going to release it on my social media after this. But what I want to do is I want to talk to our fans. I want to either invite them here. Elliot, is that allowed to invite like people here? What is the capacity? For this room? Yeah. He said one, bitch. I know. Yeah, five or six. Maybe for COVID reasons, maybe we'll just mm-hmm. like call y'all call in. in. Yeah. Yeah. And just have conversations with mm-hmm. after class listeners and people who have been following us. Yep. But that but what but what should we do like to determine who does that? Like should we give them a quiz about each person and whoever answers like whoever answers correctly of all of our questions? Because I need to know Mm-hmm. Oh, so All three of ask us. Ask a question right Why now. Don't and, we... you're, and the winner will be the one to be featured in the episode. In our last episode of this season, because I'm closing out closing out season one. Why don't we do after class questions? Mm. Questions oh, involving like watch episodes. Yeah, question and in, questions involving involving certain episodes. Like what did so and so say about this, but topic they can in this all go or, back. Like they're all posted. Everyone can go back and view it. Yeah, bitch. So you True. better study. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I feel like. If you're willing I to think put it the work be about, in. I think, I, I think we can put a question like that in there, but I think it should be personal to us. Like you, you, the only way you, you can have, have a conversation with us is you should have been following us for mm. a great time. I don't even know. And you're like a real follower. Funny. You're like, you'll be seeing everything, everything. that we we're Damn, gonna talk hard. about it either yeah. way we're releasing this episode we love y'all so much remember to keep yourself healthy yes remember to have great conversations with people to keep your minds going to keep you occupied during this difficult time y'all know you can always turn to us um yes, for some entertainment and some good ass talk so okay. until next time part two we're gonna plan part two right now we'll see y'all soon love y'all